1990, you now know I wasn't planning to say anything tonight <coughs> after the election. I kind of clocked out, but uh, I'm stimulated by the discussion of two West Market. I've read the petition, the planning office memo, and looked at the map. I got to tell you, black and white is absolutely incomprehensible. Uh, I'll just address one point on that uh, tonight. I plan to speak tomorrow at the Planning Commission, but there's an error in the petition, an alleged statement of fact, which is incorrect. Uh, the petition states that it's not possible to use to West Market as a residence. Uh, that's not true. It's true that the petitioners don't want to use it as a residence. They want to use it as a financial office and have been sent for the past year in violation of the Commonwealth Court. But uh, so the assumption behind that statement is no one else wants to use it as a residence. No one else wants to rent it for a residence or no one else wants to buy it for a residence. This reminds me of a zoning hearing board case some years back. Uh, Caddy Corner from this subject premise on the southeast corner of Market and New, where the bed and breakfast, which is still a bed and breakfast, I understand, wanted to sell the property for, you, you guessed it, financial offices. The owner at the time was told the zoning hearing board that it couldn't sell it as a residence. And one of the virtues of the Zoning Hearing Board, one of the few virtues of the Zoning Hearing Board, is that the citizens are entitled to uh, ask questions of the witness. And <clears throat> there was a citizen who was appearing before you now who asked repeated questions of this homeowner. And finally, the homeowner admitted that if the price were reduced sufficiently, <laughs> he could sell it as a residence. Well, the same thing applies to two West Market. The broader issue here is that, and as I've said before, businesses like to move into nice residential neighborhoods because they're nice and also because it's cheaper than buying commercial property. Now, if you allow that to happen, that is market-driven zoning. And as I've said before, that's what Houston has. I met somebody from Houston recently, incidentally, and I confirmed that they have no zoning. They do have historic districts, and they have homeowner associations, but other than that, no zoning. Now, if you want to have market-driven in effect, market-driven zoning like that, that what's going to happen again and again and again? Businesses will keep moving into residential areas. And so you give up your residential areas, your quality of life in those areas, and what do you have left? You have just businesses scattered all over the city instead of being concentrated. You have some vacant storefronts, from businesses who have left the commercial area for a residential area, and you have reduced quality of life. And if that's what you want, go for it. But instead of people coming into the city, you're gonna have people moving out. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shire. Is there anyone else?